Welcome back to Picks on Politics. This past week, alternate side parking returned to its full schedule. New Yorkers seem to be torn. They are ready for more regular cleanups, but there's less enthusiasm for moving cars twice a week. But it's what needs to be done to keep the city looking good. So joining us this morning is New York City's Sanitation Commissioner, Jessica Tisch. Thank you for coming back on Picks on Politics. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. All right, week one of street cleanings back to their normal numbers. Commissioner, how did it go? Um, well, we are still working on uh, bringing up the compliance rate with alternate side parking. Um, we released a video asking New Yorkers to move their car this week. Um, we also, unfortunately, had to use some of our enforcement strategies to do it. Um, as you know, we've gotten a mixed reaction. New Yorkers are understandably, at least car owners, are understandably irked by having to move their cars more often. Um, but we really feel like we brought the program back because we need to clean up our streets. We need to clean up our city. And we know that our mechanical brooms are far and away the best street cleaning tool that we have in our arsenal. So we are very much looking forward to having them back out there. And we do think that New Yorkers are going to see a meaningful difference in what those curb lines look like. The department has asked for patience as cleanings return. So, Commissioner, at this point, what are your biggest obstacles right now in terms of getting the streets cleaned twice a week? Break it down. So the biggest obstacle is people not moving their cars. Um, if you don't move your car, that part of the curb line doesn't get, doesn't get cleaned. Um, and when you go down a block where some people move their cars and other people don't, after the broom is passed, you can see the difference, right? There, there's portions of the block that have litter on them and portions of them that are totally clean. And so um, New Yorkers just need to move their cars and get out of the way of our brooms so that they can do their important work. As you continue to assess the situation across the boroughs, are there any areas of the city that are sort of most in need, that really need that street sweeping? Um, there are definitely parts of uh, Brooklyn and um, Manhattan that um, suffered decreases in the amount of cleaning that they, that they had during the pullback um, that will really benefit a lot from the new expanded service. And how are your staffing levels? Do you have the people you need right now to get this job done? Yeah, our staffing levels are actually quite good. I know earlier in, uh, in the year, we had staffing problems due to sick from COVID. So we had a large number of some, something like 25% of the workforce uh, was out sick with, with COVID. That's back down now, and it has been for a while to a much more normal, manageable number of like around 5%. I'm glad to hear your, your staffers are back on the job. As you mentioned earlier, New Yorkers do need to move their cars for sanitation employees to get their jobs done. And so to get the message out, the department has even turned to TikTok to get the word to New Yorkers. We so, sure have. Talk to me. We're showing a little bit of it right now. Did you have a fun time shooting the video? Have you gotten the response you're looking for? Please. We did have a fun time shooting the video. Please. It is definitely not my my Please. style to do, so I felt a little bit out Hi. there, out I'm on a limb teacher. doing it. Um, but I think it was, so all in all, a very effective public service announcement. I mean, we have over half a million views of that video in over, in, in like two days. Um, so it definitely is one of our most uh, successful public service announcements. Um, and a lot of New Yorkers liked it and, um, you know, but car owners who don't want to move their cars or understandably have to get back used to um, going back to the way things were. Yeah, half a million views in, in two days. Can we expect to see more TikToks to reach even more <laughs> younger New Yorkers or was this just kind of a one time thing? We'll see. Um, I, I am, though, very enthused about how successful it was in getting the message out there. And, you know, I think communication strategies have to adapt to our times. And we have a very capable communications team here that's really, I think, leading the way in city government and um, showing agencies to rethink the way that they communicate with the public. And so if this is a part of that strategy, then this is what we can keep doing.